Anchorage near Cape Pelutra to head out to the Exumas. Jason opened her up, as we do from time to time, to burn the excess carbon buildup. When you're living on a boat, food prep is a bit different than on land. When we buy food, I keep in mind what can fit in our fridge and freezer, because things don't last long on the counter. And I also try to find veggies that last longer than others, like onions, cabbage, and carrots. We also use a lot of canned food, like tuna. Spices can make any food taste great. In Allen Ski, there was a lot of wind and little swing room. So we only stayed a few days and we didn't get much scenes of the iguanas. But if you arrive there, it's a good sight to see. Once we left there, we headed over to Norman's Pond. It's a little tricky to get in and you're a little bit worried reading Active Captain, but it's actually pretty good. At low tide, there's three and a half feet. So it was really fun in there. It's very long, so if there's wind from the north or the south, you'll have to go to the either end of the bay, but except for that, you're pretty much well protected. From Norman's Pond, it's only a two mile dinghy ride to Pablo Escobar's plane. And from the top, it doesn't look that big, but once you get underwater, it's really amazing to see. And there's lots of fish all around. I guess people feed them a lot and they'll come up to you. They're not worried about anything. And you can get some really nice pictures underneath there. After a few days in Norman's Pond, we went over to Waterick Wells Key, and down there there's a lot of snorkeling. And what's interesting is they give you a map of the snorkeling areas, but it's not quite to scale, so you sort of have to figure it out on your own. But as you're going along in the dinghy, you'll see the spots of crystal blue water, and then when it's black, 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 that's where you stop. And there's corals underneath and lots of fish and the different places. There's some places that the water was a little bit deeper, 10 to 12 feet, but they had some really amazing corals in this area. Queen triggerfish has a powerful jaw and sharp teeth. They can eat sea urchins. Barred fish are recycling machines. They turn coral and rocks into fine sand while they are eating the algae from them. Common sea fan can reach 5 feet tall. Angel fish are the most curious on the reef. They also eat parasites from other fishes to complement their diet. Margate are an important food fish family. Chromis swims in large numbers. Sea rods can be purple or brown. Nurse shark with his little buddy shark sucker. They love shallow waters. In 
Wardrick Wells, everyone does the boo-boo trail. But we decided to see what else there was to see in there. And there's a lot of trails from one end to the other of the island. However, once you get a little bit further, there's a trail called the Emerald Trail for the Emerald Beach. Now, as you start going up that one, that's a little intense. I'm not too sure you'd want to bring young kids along. Mm -hmm. 